Hi everybody, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame located in Chicago, Illinois, and I am the teacher of the brand new light body. Woohoo! How are you today? Hey, there has been a lot of pushy energy. It's pressing on your emotional side and it is a doozy. But we're not out of the woods yet. In fact, um, what I want to talk to you about today is how to use some of this energy for your own benefit. So if you're like me, uh, what used to happen years ago is, and things moved in a much slower manner. Things are like speeding up. There is an acceleration and like a squeeze, like people are being squeezed through a corridor. So what used to happen years ago is people couldn't feel it. They couldn't feel some of the energies. Now, a lot of people can feel it. The things that go with it, though, really get baffling because when our mind tries to figure it out, some of it just doesn't make sense. However, if you were to look at this in a larger scope or see it as I have over you know, years of time, because I've been doing this for 13 years so far, it is making sense if you look at it from another level. So to me, the best comparison is the ocean. If you were to compare yourself to when you were really little and you first went to the ocean, those waves seem really big. And just one little one can just knock you down, right? But as you grew, you could handle it a little bit better. And as you grew a little bit more, you learned how to play in it, right? And that's how it is for me. I made a decision years ago that I was going to get really on top of this and feel out how to do it. That was one of the best decisions I ever made. I want to help you in the same way. How to use the cosmic energies for your benefit. Now, what are cosmic energies? Okay, so like, let's look at ourselves because we have times when we say, wait a minute, I'm human. I want my life. I want my real life. I want to be with somebody. I want everything that life has to offer. I want a family or I want a career or I want it all. I want all the things that I feel I should have. Shouldn't it be my birthright? And yes, it is the birthright for a lot of people. That's part of the reason we are getting a lot of the hate off away from the heart so we can get back to feeling how we're supposed to feel, which is brotherly and sisterly love. Not just, you know, saying it like, imagine there's no country. Well, there are countries, okay? We can imagine it, but how would it feel to really feel that there's no xenophobia? Xenophobia is a fear or phobia of foreigners. That's a real thing for people, especially if you come from a background where maybe your land has been invaded. Maybe your town has been invaded. Maybe your town has been corrupted and vandalized. Maybe your planet got invaded. I mean, you never know unless you really know. There are some things that history just can't really be seen very clearly. And yet, if you look at the whole broad scope of it, we can clearly say history does repeat. How do we get it to stop repeating, literally rise above and get into a different vibration, raise our vibrations up so much that we don't delve down there or get affected anymore? Not only that, how do we create a momentum that actually pulls people as though you're a large boat pulling people in your wake? like your family, your kids. You're not re totally responsible for their ascension, but yet somehow there's a love ripple effect. The love goes to benefit other people. So how can you use these cosmic energies for good? How can you use cosmic energies first and foremost for you, for your twin flame, 
and then for the benefit of other people. Because frankly, if you don't put the oxygen mask on yourself first, you're not going to be able to turn around and help anyone, right? First rule of getting up there, help yourself. Focus on you. You have to. Who else is going to do it? You have to. Okay. So what did I do? I made a decision. I said, I am going to feel out these energies and really feel what this is, feel what to do and feel how to do it, right? And what is best. Now, in some ways, I got away from some traditional things that other people were doing, like wishing on a full moon. I'm not against it, but something in me realized it's got to move beyond that. It's got to be real actions. It can't just be wishes, wishful thinking, living in illusion, living in delusions, and hoping for the best. It has to be real actions because you want real actions for your life. You want real actionable steps taken by the person who is attached to you and who does love you. Okay? Not some bozo catalyst that really isn't there for you. No, I'm not talking about that. That's another thing. Time to let go of the catalyst. They serve their purpose. Truly, they have. We thank you. Please see yourself to the door. Don't let it hit you in the butt as you leave, right? We just want them out. Get out. Don't go away angry. Just go away. So how do you use these cosmic energies? First and foremost, it is through your body. You're feeling it through your body. There's things you experience through your body. There's things you need to experience through your body. There's things you need to heal. There's things you need to open up. That is where I come in because not only am I guiding you how to do that, I'm helping you get those parts of you open for this part of the season. So the part of this year, this first section, this first quarter, we've got the end of the first quarter for fiscal purposes. That's financials. Those are companies like wrapping up their first quarters, whatever they're going to do with the numbers up and down. There's turmoil there. Here in the United States, people are prepping for, you know, getting their tax stuff done or lined up. People are reconfiguring. People are getting spring fever, cabin fever. They want to get out. They want to bust out so bad. In the Southern Hemisphere, in Australia, terrible flooding. The change of the season is bringing dramatic weather and we all need to focus what can we do with these changes. It happens through you and it works through you. So the how to use cosmic energies means your light body, of which that is my expertise. It means new chakras, which actually connect to that. Okay. So if you're tumbling around on earth and you're saying, my God, this is like the umpteenth moon energy and change of season. And like, when is this ever going to stop? It's not stopping. It has to be you elevating. That's the difference. You have to literally get above it. Just like a current in the ocean. Some of the currents down here Nobody knows that something seismic happened down here and it's ready to crest and break the surface. That's your emotions. Your emotions are breaking through to the surface and some of them don't feel okay. And yet, is this where you're expected to live? No. But come and join how you stop living there because it's a neighborhood you're passing through, a bad neighborhood. And you don't have to stay there, but let me help you get out of it and live in the decent, luxurious neighborhood you're supposed to. What else with cosmic energies? Okay, you have a mammal side to you. Sometimes the mammal side to you has urges or surges or boo, 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 this boom, bang, you're just like some of the little baby animals in springtime, you don't even know what to do with all this energy. I'm here to help you with that. So you can be calm, 
so it can be functional, so it can feel responsible and enjoy life, your real life, your new life, absolutely spanking brand, sparkly, shined up, polished, new. Maybe you need a repair, uh, a trip to the repair shop, right? Okay. What has happened with cosmic stuff? Cosmic means planets. Cosmic means other dimensions. If you're a star seed, hi, star seeds, you're here from multiple places. But sometimes your journey has been cut short. Well, welcome to Earth where you will be able to avail yourself of the things that maybe you were shortchanged on. I'm here to help you with that. And I get it because I was there in some of those timelines. Brutal, brutal stuff. Okay, there are actually worse places than here. And some people are coming in from there having agreed to fully let go and heal and integrate the new light body. That is my expertise, helping you to integrate the new light body. So that is what I do besides helping you heal, helping you through the easiest purge possible, helping you with the healing, inner child healing, deep inner child healing that you may not even know where it comes from. So what else are the cosmic energies? Yes, they are solar wind, they are solar flares, they are the movements of the planets, they are the precession of the equinoxes. Tick, 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 tick. Each little tick is a huge movement down here to these bodies that we are the spirit having a human experience in. We're feeling that. We're like, whoa, what was that? Whoa, it woke me up at night. Whoa, it's so bumpy. Whoa, my head, it's pressure and, and sensations and things like that. You betcha. And years ago, I said to myself, I have to find a way to have peaceful sleep. I have to have a, find, a way to find rest. And I want to get back to the love. How do I get to the level where that is my experience and not all the bumps and you know, disjointed things. How do I get my body's rhythm into the rhythm it's supposed to be? Bingo. This is what I asked myself and I found out the way. And the way is through your brand new light body. It is through new chakras and there are connections you share with each other. So this is not a mystery. This is not you know, based on some ancient mystery school. The ancient mystery schools tried to keep stuff from people, you know, so that they could, I guess, stay employed or whatever. If you really want a full story, join. But please find out more about the good stuff because I have helped hundreds of people over the years to do exactly that. Not just rise above, but have a completely lovely high level experience and to keep re-experiencing not like a one-time you know one hit wonder that's not who you are you are a grand magnificent being here for real love and a real life and having that together life don't let anyone out there kid you why are you looking for obstacles instead of looking for magic so join me this weekend, I will have um, several mini classes because we're going to talk about the full moon, the energies of the equinox and these changes, and there's something coming up. The cosmic pivot is what I'm calling it. Rise above, find out how to be the best dimensional surfer and dancer ever. With your love, of course, because nothing's really worth it unless someone's really into you, right? And they are. You're so into each other. You're in each other. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below or email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Bye.